Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tracy Mayhew and I'm the author of several YA fantasy and adult contemporary romances. Um, this week's video is going to be slightly different in so much as I'm, I haven't scripted it. This is just, um, so basically what's happening is this tomorrow or today as you'll see in this video I am going to go on a couple of days writing retreat to Tintagel in Cornwall. So what I thought I'd do is this week I would um, show you what I pack to go away onto a writing retreat. So I have this awesome tote bag, which was a gift for my birthday last week from my awesome critique partner. Um, it's a tarot, it's a tarot card in the, that that shows a book, which I thought was quite fitting for the fact that I'm going on a writing retreat. So I thought this was the perfect time to use this this bag. Um, so I'm just going to run through some of the things I will take on my writing retreat so that it gives you an idea of how I set myself up when I go away. Um, I am only going away for a night, so it's not a it's not a long writing retreat, um, but I want to be prepared so I know I've got everything that I could possibly need for every eventuality. Plus, tomorrow, or today, um, it's the end of Nano, Camp Nano, and so I will be trying to finish get into that 40,000 word target that I set myself earlier this month. So let's start. So the first thing I will take with me is my iPad. And this is great because this cover curls back on itself. So it stands up and it will stand at an angle so that I can, it will be like a computer monitor essentially. And because I write on Google Docs, everything that I've written on my laptop at home will be readily accessible on here as soon as I log in and the great thing is I don't even need Wi-Fi for that as long as you make sure before you leave that you have made your doc document available for being read offline then you should be able to access that on any device and I can access that on my phone although to be honest I don't I don't write on my phone the screen's too small it would do my head in um, so I take and I take this everywhere I take this to work with me um, and so I can access my whatever I'm writing on wherever I am. Okay, so that's the first thing. Um, to go with that is this excellent case. I bought this, I think I might have bought it earlier this year or the end of last year. It's a tech gear case and it's well protected. It's got foam, it's really stiff and durable um, foam inside and it's got like the little bubbles there that will really protect whatever you put in there so my iPad always goes in there and it's perfect size for my iPad so it goes in there quite nicely and it's well protected um, and then to go with that is my portable Logitech keyboard which is amazing I bought this last year around about April or May last year and I think it takes it takes either AA batteries or AAA batteries, and I haven't had to change those batteries once. And I use this pretty much every single day because it comes to school with me, so that I can use it with my iPad when I'm at work. I also, because of my setup at home, my laptop is on like a a riser, and when I do my office tour, you'll be able to see how my setup works in on my desk. Um, so to write on my actual laptop is a bit challenging. Um, so I use this for when I write on my at my desk. Um, I will also take this to a library with me if I'm taking my iPad. So this pretty much goes everywhere with me, and it even slips into oops slips into my case. You've got this little um, switch here. At the moment, it's off obviously because it's red. Um, but if you switch it on, it goes on, and you can you can link it, I think, to up to three devices. So those green buttons there show you how many devices you can link it up to. So I've linked mine to my laptop and to my iPad. I haven't linked it up to anywhere else. I could technically link it to my phone if I wanted to, but um, I don't want to because, as I said earlier, the screen's too small for my phone and it would just be too much of a hassle to try and do any writing on my phone. So that goes in there as well. It's a little bit of a squeeze, but it does go in. Um, and then I can do it up that way. And the only thing I would say is just be careful when you zip it, when you um, zip up this side, because you can accidentally 
uh, get the switch. So you just have to fiddle, fiddle, fiddle around with it a little bit and it, it goes in quite nicely. And that will go into my bag as my first item. Okay, so we're well on the way now. <laughs> I can feel that writing retreat coming. <laughs> getting excited um, so my next thing that I will take is this this has been invaluable to me this is my plan for not just for Christmas um, it's got everything I need all the all the chapter ideas all the uh, plot developments it's even got I think it's got a village map in there and it's, it's like my series Bible um, and this comes everywhere everywhere with me as well it's got character descriptions um, plot points as I say it's got a timeline because obviously with it leading up to Christmas I want it to be a very specific timeline that I'm dealing with and um, so I've written down all the different Christmas activities that they that the characters get up to that go on in the village um, and where everything fits in with all of that so that that will be in my bag ready to come as well um, the next thing, let's see, I've got a few more things here. So the next thing, this is a little bit different only because this <laughs> has nothing to do with my romance books, but this is my notebook for my Viking series. And currently I'm at book, well, I'm about to start working on book three later this year. So in this at the moment are all my ideas and all my, um, the possible plot ideas for the third book in the series. Um, so I'm, I'm taking this everywhere with me at the moment because I'm starting to feel ideas fizzing and bubbling away in the background. So I'm keeping this with me just in case I get any ideas I can scribble down. And I've even got a Viking themed pen to go with it that I bought in Glastonbury, I think it was last year, um, which is awesome. So it's got Thor's hammer on the side there. Um, so I keep that there. With that so if I do need to write down anything for my Viking stories I've got that. Um, my next thing would be my little portable pencil case, my little tiny pencil case. I love this pencil case. Uh, it's only a recent buy and I can't remember where I got it from, possibly Dunelm, I'm not sure if you're in the UK. Um, and in here I will keep several different coloured pens that I might want to write in different colours. Just highlight a few things, highlighter, just in case I need to highlight specific things, and a spare pen, just in case my other pens run out. Um, so that's kind of like all those essential bits that come with me, like my backup type writing equipment, so that will pop that in there as well. Um, I've also got a charger, for obvious reasons, in case anything needs to happen, or my... Uh, that's what needs charging at any time. I've got that. Um, I probably won't need it for one night, but you don't want to be somewhere and then find out that you're stranded without a charger. So that will go in there too. Um, and then my last thing, so I will do a separate video on this set, um, in the coming weeks because um, I know there's a lot of writers that deal with migraine and things like that. And I'm one of them. I deal with migraine quite a lot. In my life so this is what I call my migraine kit and it's basically everything I need that might help me manage an attack if I if I have one um, hopefully I won't get one over the next couple of days it would be really bad luck to get one um, tomorrow or today or to, uh, today or tomorrow um, but you never know so that comes with me it goes in every single bag that I pack to work everywhere with me um, so yeah, that is my bag packed and ready to go. And I've got to say, I am loving that bag. It's strong, it's durable, and it fits everything that I need in there. So um, I have to I have to make sure that my laptop's charged tonight, obviously. But apart from that, that bag is now ready to go for my writing retreat, and hopefully that will help me um, in in beating Nano this year, or reaching my Nano goal, should I say. Um, quick update on Nano is that I am close. I'm not going to say too much because next week I want to do a little a little video about my whole Nano journey, so I don't want to say too much now about it, but I'm quietly confident. Um, it's been a bit of a slog, I won't lie, but 
um, I am quietly confident that um, I could turn things around and hopefully, um, fingers crossed, hopefully reach that 40,000 word goal tomorrow. Um, but you will find out whether I do next Monday. Okay, so I'm going to keep you in suspense for a little longer. <laughs> Unless you follow me on Instagram, in which case I might, well I will, I'm not going to lie, I will be revealing whether I win or not on Instagram. Um, but yeah, I will be talking more in more detail about Camp Nano and my journey throughout this month with Camp Nano next week. Um, when I will also be reviewing a few books that I've read in July and some of the books, I'm going to talk about some couple of books I want to read in August as well. So... Until then, I'm going to say goodbye. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you don't, you never miss a video. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next week. See you later.